In this video, I show how to draw a roof in the new software. Here I have an example house with three floors, and on the top floor, I only have walls. This is an attic. I have no windows or doors there, because it will be cut off by the roof. So I click here in 2D mode, go to floor management, and select that I want to draw on the top floor now. That's why I make this blue sphere right at the top. I now select the top floor, click on roof, and now I can choose how I want to draw the roof, automatically or myself. It is important to know that before drawing, you can also click on options and choose whether you want to draw the roof on the current floor or select a different option. We will now select the normal option and select the automatic roof. As soon as I move the mouse over the outer walls, the program automatically recognizes the outer walls and adds a roof. I just click once with the left mouse button and the roof is drawn. I immediately have a hip roof. Next I click in 3D mode by clicking here. Now I display the wood frameworks. This way I can see these small wooden beams. Again, I turn them off and on. So then we have a finished roof. This roof is now selected. I click once on roof to open the options for the roof. With this function you can raise and lower the roof. I either have to enter plus 50 and click OK, or I enter minus 50 and lower it again. I can set the individual roof sides using the roof side tab. Here I have now selected the left side, for example. That is this side here. If I click on the top side, I can make settings for this side. I can do it for each side. Now I change the overhang. Lower the height a little and change the angle of inclination slightly. Then I can click on this button and these settings will be applied to all four sides. So I don't have to enter the same settings for each side. I can then use this height definition button to enter exact heights for the knee wall and other important inputs. Down here, I can select where the measurement should be, from the finished floor or from the raw floor. I'll leave it as it is. I would now like to show you how to draw a gable roof. I select the side of the roof that is to have a gable and select gable here at the top and here on the right too. And now I have a gable roof. The only thing we see now are openings. These can be closed by adding additional floors. or by setting a higher clearance. It doesn't matter how high we set the clearance because everything below the roof is automatically cut off, but the wood features are not cut off. So let's go back and create another floor above the top floor.
add another floor and copy only the outer walls. And that's how we close this opening. This is a gable roof. Next, I'll delete the roof and draw a new roof on the third floor automatically. And now I'll draw a flat roof or a pent roof by going to roof and entering gable for three different sides. Now we have a flat roof with a very steep pitch, and we lower it to 5 degree, and there we have it.